Massive assessments are forcing Florida homeowners out of their homes. Hello friends, welcome back. You're watching Chris Igo. And today we're going to talk about the massive assessments that are forcing homeowners out of their homes. Right now I'm in Boca Raton and I'm by the beach, wedged between the intercoastal and the beach. And all of these condos are subject to massive assessments. But it's not just Boca, it is every coastal community in Florida every single condo in Florida is subject to massive assessments. And if you've got the money to pay for those assessments, you're fine. And most Boca condos have already been fortified and the assessments paid. But I do have a horror story to share. But the rest of Florida is in big trouble. And I suspect we are going to see a condo crisis of epic proportions. Florida used to be a very inexpensive place to retire to. And for decades, snowbirds and many other retirees would come to Florida, pick up a cheap condo on the beach or by the beach, and live their dream life, live their golden years, max out their South Florida dreams to the fullest. But inflation has skyrocketed, the cost of living has skyrocketed, and now condos, and you probably heard me talk about this before, are in jeopardy because many of these condos simply are not fortified financially the right way. So many of the buildings, many of these condos in Florida are home to residents on low incomes. And while they may have been able to afford living in these condos in the past, because the fees to live there were nominal or inexpensive, today that's simply not true. And in many instances, these condos or these condo boards don't have the budget, don't have the reserves to be able to pay for the mandatory structural requirements that the state has imposed. And the unfortunate reality is, if these residents, if these condo owners do not have the money to be able to pay for these assessments, they will be booted out of their homes. And this is a nightmare situation waiting to happen. I've talked about it before, but if these condos are not up to code, if they are not structurally fortified the right way, then these condos will be sold period. An investor will come in and do whatever they want to do, max out the highest and best use of that land, and I can promise you they're going to put in something much more expensive, much more unaffordable, and it will create a nightmare situation for the condo market. So I suspect there is going to be a massive condo crisis coming soon. But recently I worked with an affluent client that was looking for a beachfront condo in Boca Raton and they found it and it was perfect. They scored a great deal. It was priced at a million too, but it had a phenomenal view of Lake Boca, of the beach, of the ocean, and it looked fantastic. The, the inspection report was great and when purchasing this condo, there were mandatory disclosures, budgets that needed to be reviewed, and all of those things checked out. So they were very happy that they found their dream condo and could max out Boca living to the fullest. However, about a year after purchase, they got hit with a $150,000 assessment to structurally reinforce the condo. And of course, they called me up and asked, how is that possible? Well, unfortunately, the disclosures were accurate at the time, and a year later, their budget changed and the condo was forced to make these structural changes. Now, thankfully, these clients had the money to be able to stroke the check and pay for the assessment. But I know that Boca Raton is a very unique market. It's typically a very affluent buyer who's looking to buy a beachfront condo in Boca. This is not the 1950s where you can pick up something cheap in Boca Raton, or even 1970s, or 80s, or 90s. Today, it's very expensive and you're gonna pay a premium to live that type of lifestyle. But they knew all that and they were happy with it and they've got the money. I know for certain that in Fort Lauderdale, in Miami, up the coast, in other parts of Florida, 
Sarasota, for example, um, there is no Naples, any beachfront community that exists in Florida that has condos, Destin in particular comes to mind, shout out to Kevin247 and Squirrel Tribe, there, there is going to be a nightmare situation because I know those residents don't have the money to stroke the check. And I suspect there are going to be lots of forced sales. And there's going to be a massive uptick of condos that are for sale at bargain discount prices. But honestly, I don't think that these properties or these buildings are going to be sold to private citizens. I think these are going to be gobbled up by institutions and private investors who want to max out the opportunity to develop land beachfront in Florida. But make no mistake, condo owners are facing severe financial pressures due to these rising assessments, which will force sales or potentially cause these homeowners to abandon the property completely. So if you're thinking about buying a condo in Florida anywhere, you must know what the budget is. You must know what the balance sheets are for the HOA in order to ensure that you're not gonna be faced with a massive assessment coming soon. And make no mistake, there are many condo markets within the state of Florida that are going to be facing structural safety reforms that they simply can't afford. And these new laws require older buildings to undergo thorough inspections and if necessary, make those costly repairs. The burden of these expenses is going to be passed down to the individual condo owner. And if you've got the money, great, no problem. And if you don't, well, you're going to be forced to sell. And I hope it's not to an investor because if they get their hands on that property, say goodbye to affordable beachfront Florida living forever. And as I mentioned before, most of these condos are housed by older retirees on fixed budgets. They don't have the liquidity to stroke a check for a massive assessment. But it's not just the assessments that are forcing people out. Insurance for beachfront condos or waterfront properties has skyrocketed. There's been a significant increase in property insurance premiums due to many different factors. Hurricanes, fraud, litigation, you name it, it's on the list, but insurance has got pricey. It's extremely expensive relative to the recent past, and most of these folks on a fixed budget don't have the money to pay their insurance premiums. And I don't want to sound like Debbie Downer here, but the truth is many of these condo associations are simply not run the right way. I've been in many situations where the condo associations are just run by a village of idiots. These are people who volunteer their residents of the, of the building, but they're elected by the people who live in the building. So if someone volunteers to be the treasurer or the president of the condo association, all they have to do is be elected. There's really no thorough background check, which is a long way of getting to. If these people don't know how to run a budget, chances are you're in big trouble. And I know there are lots of condos that are in big trouble. So if the condo association lacks the financial planning or governance needed to properly manage reserve funds, future maintenance is going to be on the bucket list of things that must be done because massive assessments are coming soon. And I don't say any of this to scare you, I say it to prepare you. So if you are in a condo and you think you might be in trouble, chances are you want to be in front of the massive pressure, of the massive uptick, of the massive liquidity crisis that is coming soon. And there will be fire sales. And it's unfortunate because I don't know where these folks are going to live. I suspect there's gonna be a massive uptick in homelessness due to these financial pressures. And that's not what I want, but I'm not here to tell you what you wanna hear. I'm here to tell you the truth. And if you're thinking about buying a condo anywhere in Florida or 
really any other type of property either. Please know I'm a full-time, full-service real estate professional that specializes in finding your dream home, dream lifestyle, and most importantly, ain't nobody overpaying on my watch. And if you're thinking about selling, ain't nobody not finding the one buyer on planet Earth willing to pay more than anybody else if they're thinking about selling. Thanks for watching. If you found value, please subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.